Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about if SoFi stock can soar even higher throughout the year of 2023. So for more news updates and stock price targets for SoFi Technologies, remember to go and smash that like button right now, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. Clearly, SoFi, various technology companies, and fintech companies had a terrible performance throughout the year of 2022. However, shares of SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SOFI, climbed by around 50.3% throughout the month of January, having one of its best month performances to date. The main reason for this is that they released better than anticipated performance for their fourth quarter 2022 results, while also projecting a very impressive 2023 full year results. But can SoFi Technologies continue their uptrend throughout the next couple of months, or will SoFi give back its gains that it achieved in January? Well, right now, the current share price of this fintech company trades for $7.55, while professionals believe it could drop back down to $5 per share, or the company could surge up to $10 per share over the next 12 months. I think the main reason for the bullishness that we have seen in SoFi Technologies was not necessarily only due to their impressive revenue and earnings that they brought in, but rather when SoFi's management told investors that it will achieve profitability earlier than expected, that's what caused the main surge in their overall share price to where now the company could become profitable by quarter four of 2023. I also want to make investors aware of the fact that SoFi Technologies was very reliant on student loan refinancing as of 2015, but since 2015, they have rapidly diversified themselves in their three main segments, while also really pushing their personal loans, auto loans, and mortgages, which has kept the company out of trouble throughout the year of 2023, which has allowed their stock price to absolutely surge. This diversification of where SoFi obtains their overall revenues have have not only pushed the company further toward profitability, but it's also going to inflate their overall share price. So this begs the question, is this company a good buying opportunity right now at their current stock price? Well, first let's look at their overall accounting metrics, such as their price to book value, to where now they currently trade at just 1.2 times the company's book value. This is lower than JP Morgan Chase's book value, but only slightly higher than Wells Fargo and Bank of America. Ideally, we when referring to their price to book value, we want this particular metric to be lower. It's very good that they are already lower than the JP Morgan at Chase price to book value, and they are also trading pretty close to Bank of America as well as Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo currently has a price to book value of 1.12, and Bank of America has a price to book value of 1.15. Now, we don't want to get the price to book value mixed up with another book value metric, which would be their book value per share, and we actually want this to be as high as possible because the higher the book value per share is, the better off the company will be because that reflects very strong financial health for the overall company. I know it can be confusing at times when I address different types of accounting ratios in terms of their book value, but it's good to see that SoFi Technologies is set up for a competitive price to book value ratio. Right now, SoFi is trading in line with other legacy banks, and because they are growing faster than other banks, I think that their current share price price is clearly at a fair value price to where investors could buy the stock now if they plan to hold it over the long term. However, considering that the current share price has recently spiked, most wise investors would wait for this stock exuberance to go back down. So once the hype dies down a little bit and the share price returns to a more manageable price target, then it would be better to buy when the stock is discounted. However, other investors believe that this is just the start of a very bullish trend to where the company will go all the way up to $10 over the next 12 months. So let's see if there's anything to that particular price prediction. Can the bullish case for SoFi Technologies continue throughout the year of 2023? Well, first we need to look at their overall risks. What risks are involved with SoFi Technologies? Well, the first risk is clearly going to be inflation, which we will talk about in just a moment. But as of right now, they have a pretty attractive risk to reward profile to where they have a much more comfortable price floor than they did, say, a month ago. So as inflation starts to ease, we can see SoFi Technologies share price
price actually continue to go up in 2023. However, I do believe in the short term, we will see another pullback in their overall share price. Currently, inflation is elevated in the macroeconomic economy, which means that business activity is going to slow down. And that would be bad news for SoFi Technologies. But the good news is that the Consumer Price Index, also known as the CPI, which measures inflation, has topped out at around 9.1% as of July. This means that the Federal Reserve is getting inflation back under control, which is good for the overall stock market and macroeconomic economy. But I do want to bring to your attention that the Federal Reserve doesn't necessarily use the CPI, which is the Consumer Price Index, they actually use the Personal Consumption Expenditures, also known as the PCE Index. And this particular index peaked at around 7% as of June, and it has since fallen down to 5% as of December. This means that the Federal Reserve is seeing overall inflation digress as time goes on, which means that they could potentially lower their aggressiveness in terms of their policy to increase interest rates, because the more interest rates increase, the faster inflation will become under control. But it looks like inflation is slowly becoming under control, which means after just a few more rate hikes, we can see interest rates start to fall. With lower interest rates, this is going to encourage more borrowing and lending activity, which is going to be phenomenal news for fintech companies, banks, and SoFi technologies. The bears and the short sellers of SoFi Technologies cannot deny the fundamentally strong business that SoFi Technologies currently has, especially off of their recent quarterly financial data release, which released amazing results. The bullish positive thesis for SoFi Technologies just gets stronger as time goes on, and that means we could see the share price go even higher than it is today, potentially up to $10 according to some analysts. But I wouldn't be surprised if the share price decided to fall back down to $6 temporarily throughout the year of 2023, depending on what the Fed decides to do with increasing interest rates. However, the author of this article believes the company could be worth $10 throughout the year of 2023, and it could even potentially head higher, which is exactly why we would go over to the next article, whose author predicts that the fair intrinsic value of SoFi Technologies is around $12. I also want to mention that this author believes that by 2025, the company should be worth at minimum around $50. $15 per share. This means as time goes on, we're only going to see SoFi Technologies become stronger and stronger fundamentally. And when this inevitably impacts their overall financials positively, each earnings report could send the share prices even higher if everything goes to plan, such as the federal student loan ending and the company achieving profitability by the end of 2023. So I would love to hear your price targets that you have for SoFi Technologies throughout the year of 2023. Remember to go and annihilate that like button for more stock news updates on SoFi Technologies. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.